Welcome to my art channel, Foxes. This week we're going to be making some potion bottles for Halloween. This bottle I found at Dollar Tree. This bottle I think I found it at the 99 cent store. This bottle I also found at the Dollar Tree. The supplies I'm going to be using is a paper towel, a skewer, a funnel, some food coloring, rubbing alcohol, and glow in the dark glue. That water was just tap water. And then these are all my little doodads and things that I'm going to look through to find out what I want to use to decorate and all that. And here you know, we're going to start by putting some rubbing alcohol with some green food coloring in here. And I'm using eyeshadow instead of mica pigments. And this makes it kind of color changing. You gotta kinda play around with the mixture so you mix it up and then you gotta let it sit. And then you gotta see if you need to add more of the eyeshadow or the food coloring. In this one I'm doing kind of the same thing, some rubbing alcohol and food coloring, and then I'll add some different eyeshadow. In this one, I'm going to be doing like a glow-in-the-dark potion, so I'm going to use some water and the glow-in-the-dark glue. And in this one, I'm putting in some green and white glitter just to make it a little bit more sparkly. There is glitter in the glue, but I wanted to make it more sparkly. And then I added one drop of green food coloring. This one, the green turned kind of yellow, so I added more green to it. There you can see kind of the color change. And then I had to add some more eyeshadow to this one. These are some potion bottles that I started making a while ago. I figured I could decorate them in this video so you could see more different ideas. For this one, I'm using embroidery thread to try to kind of make a little bit of a netting on it. This one's going to be uh, mermaid tears. And I'm wrapping it around just to make it look almost like rope or something around it. 
And then I added a few shells just to stick with the ocean theme. This one I decided to add a ribbon around the top. Then I used some embroidery thread to tie on this tag, which I just looked on Google Images for poison tags and I looked for all the different tags that I made and just traced them and painted them. In this one I used a little silver ribbon and then I used embroidery thread to tie on the tag for this one too. And these ones I made into labels instead of tags, and I'm just going to use Mod Podge to glue them on. With the curved bottles, you have to really work it in there, otherwise you'll have wrinkles, so got to make sure you rub it on and get all the little ridges and wrinkles out. I am painting the tops black so that I can add some metallic paint over the top just to make it look more authentic. And this one I added a little bit of metallic paint on the bottom just to make it look a little dirty. And then I'm using some more embroidery thread to wrap around the neck of the bottle. And this one I'm using, it's actually a shoestring that I found, but it looks kind of like a rope. And then I'm painting the top of this one black too. And I'm back to using embroidery thread and I'm wrapping red around the top of this one. And I wanted to drip wax on the top. I didn't have any good lighters for this, but I've seen people do like when they're uh, sealing envelopes with it, they use like a spoon type thing over fire. So I'm just doing a spoon over a candle to heat up the wax and then I'm pouring it on top. And I'm just using old crappy crayons in different colors to give it some dimension and make it look pretty cool, I think. And be careful if you're doing this because I did drop some of that purple wax on my finger and it burned really bad. And I forgot to put the shell on this one so I'm using hot glue. And this is how they all came out. I will show you the glowing effect on this one after I show all the bottles here. And a little bit of color changing. Uh, I tried to get it as best as you know you can see there. You can see all the glitter stuff at the bottom and then you shake it and then it kind of you could see all the little swirls and glitter and stuff in there and this one changes from orange to kind of a like brassy color i guess it's, it's like a really dark brown glittery brassy color i don't know it's pretty cool looking This one is red with like glitter. It's got a lot of glitter. It's kind of hard to see in this shot. It just kind of looks like specks of stuff, but it is glitter. <laughs> and 
this one does have a lot of different glitter and like flakes of stuff in it but it's it's hard to see because it's black and with the lighting it's just it is really cool looking in person but it is kind of hard to see and the next one is like a bluish teal color with a bunch of glitter in it as well which also looks like floating specks in this lighting for some reason i guess you can kind of see it glittering a little bit in this one you can also see my reflection and now i'll show you what the glowing one looks like in the dark I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more art videos.